Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tony here, CCXRC. And in this video, we are gonna take this clear body RC car and we're gonna paint it with acrylic paint with a brush. Check it out. Alrighty, you guys. So we are gonna try something a little different here and we're gonna paint this body using acrylic paints with a paintbrush. So we can try to get some of this detail without having to mask everything off. I'm not gonna do the logo and things like that. I will probably use a vinyl cutter on the outside for that. Um, but some of this other stuff we will just try doing with paint. Alrighty guys, so we have the first coats on. You can see it's very strokey. <laughs> Lots of brush strokes. Not so much in the blacks. I dabbed that in to kind of fill that in and not have the brush strokes. Uh, but there's just so much ground to cover with the brown. We're just, we're going for it right now. I stopped in areas where I need to add the tan because I want to add that in first. So I don't kind of, you know, once you get brown in there, you can't, you can't really go back. So we get the tan in and that way if we do overlap, we'll already have a good base of the, the tan in place. So hopefully it won't be as destructive that way. These are different brand for this. So I didn't like any of the cream colors in the same brand. And this was actually what I'd read people had used before was this um, heavy body acrylic by Liquitex. But it's kind of expensive, so I didn't really want to do that for all of the, the paint. So I'm going to go with a bigger brush to start with and just start covering the massive areas that we can. And just getting some paint down this coverage is way better i should have done spent the extra money and just done this wow that is such a difference in the way that the coverage is not nearly as streaky so spend the money and get the liquitex stuff wow unbelievable the difference this does not leave the streaks you can layer much thicker amounts of paint down. Oh, that's a game changer. All right. Next body I paint, I will do all of this brand in this heavy body. It'll just speed the process up a hundred times. No joke. It's just laying it in there perfectly. Makes me almost just want to give up on this one, form a new body and start over. It's just that much better. It's getting a look, that's for sure. It's starting to take shape. All right, guys, now that we got this thing looking good, you can see the detail that they've got up there. I went in and just sharpied some of it on the outside to get some of that extra details and the black around the teeth, just Sharpie. Uh, we need to get this logo to put onto the side. So I've gone ahead and found this online. A couple of different things I was looking at as I was working on it. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Illustrator on the iPad. You have to um, be a member to have this. So I do have a bunch of stuff with them. We're gonna go ahead and add a photo that we're gonna use to trace. And here we go. So now we've got this to work with. Grab up here, a little pen tool, and just start going to town. We gotta create the form for this. And then we just are gonna have to go in and get it dialed in. Working with, uh, it is a little tedious, I will say that, but you can get it pretty dialed in. I'm gonna turn our opacity down so we can see, and then just kind of fake it till we make it. Kind of the process we're gonna to use to be able to go in and work on making stickers with our Cricut. All right, so here is our finished product. I went and did the insides as well. 
but they're all separate pieces that I've just gone ahead and just created doing that same opacity and all that. Good to go there. So we're gonna export this. I'm just gonna do it as a, a JPEG is fine and get it to our uh, save image. There we go. Now we're gonna open up the Cricut Suite and go to our canvas. So I've already got them here in my canvas, but just quickly show you the process. Just hit upload and we're gonna select it from our library. Here's our TAS. And then we have to just go in and have it remove section. So we'll hold, we don't want this. We don't want this white spot here. So you just kind of have it delete these little areas. Just holding your finger down lets you get the crosshairs line up just right. So now it's just going to cut out the black and all the different lines around it. And so we're good to go. So I actually went back into Illustrator and after I exported it, we'll close out of here. I deleted all of these pieces like so. And then I just added a stroke to this all the way around and made it black as well. And then we just increased that stroke to about 11 and it thickens it up. So it's gonna give us a nice background to put behind it. So I'm gonna undo this since I'm in my main one. I don't wanna ruin that file, but you can see here what it looks like when it's done. So that will allow us to do a two layer sticker on the side here. Um, it actually has some like fading and all that to it uh, between colors, like a light and light to dark kind of blend. We're not gonna do that. It's just a little micro monster truck. I could print it to do that, but we're not gonna bother. So in in our Cricut here, we've, we've imported both. And uh, when I actually go to cut it, I just hide. It's saved this way as my TAS file. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide two. We'll have it cut these and I'll switch it. So once I hit make it, it won't show the other two that are in there. And so it'll cut this out. So that's next, time to get cutting. So I don't have an exact match, but I think this is closer than just going straight red. So we're gonna just go with this kind of coral color. All right, so we're over here. Got everything loaded up. We're gonna say make it. guys there you have it my taz is all done looking good and yes we did hand paint this it is a bit chunky in there this is definitely the better paint that liquidex it went on and basically one coat this never really got good coating on it and i just had to dab it in there but it will pass we sharpied the brown around the nose and that and the black around the teeth but um yeah it was definitely an easier way to do it than try to tape it all off and rattle can it. But um, in fact, the, I mean, the main reason I didn't do rattle can was finding the right colors. Uh, I just had more options for colors to do acrylic, which is the reason that I chose to do it acrylic. I think this color does pretty well. So it's sitting on the Tiny Titan, but it also fits over on the ECB 3D print chassis. Um, and I'm going to probably be hand painting the, um, the Monster Mount one like that as well went pretty easily. I will be buying the better paint though. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I wanted to show you, I mean, I can crinkle this and crumple it and I can rub on it and, you know, bend it and squish it in and do all that. And the paint is not flaking. It is not chipping. Um, it is not showing. It's a very flexible paint as I'm pushing down pretty good on this. It's not chipping away in there. Here, I'm bending this in with my thumb you can see how it's folding over but it is not creating any types of chips 
So it may, you know, rub stuff off over time on the chassis, things like that, but that happens as well with uh, our other paints. So it seems to work, you guys. Hand brush painted acrylic on an RC car body. There you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. Have fun RCing. Catch you next time.